Alright, so Alright, so we still waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and finish reading this. So Now look at this. How this says, don't worship any other gods with any other god with a little G. For the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. So they, they trying to say it's a it's a God that's named Jealous. You you do you see that? Whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. You know, this is making me think about like the Empress maybe, but them trying to, you know, maybe reverse psychology. Cause I feel like these other people are jealous of me. You know what I'm saying? And trying to keep me from using their laws and lies and things like that in order to manipulate the situation when it comes to this energy, okay? That's peaceful, slow to anger, this, this and that, fair and just, even when people do wrong. Like, that's just the way, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the fairest of them all. So they're looking for the fairest of them all to poison it. And it's funny how they make it an apple, right? Because again, that's, I feel like this is talking about the golden apple here, okay? Um, so they're trying to say one bad apple spoils the bunch, possibly. But really, it's the other apples that's the bad apples, the three of cups, the three women that are excited i don't know why i'm hearing like like i said houston land of vegas vegas okay or just it's, it's always these three okay let's see and it's the three i feel like i keep on naming i mean it's just is what it is what i feel okay and these are the people that have been having authority or conservatorship or some kind of lordship or some kind of mayoral energy or maybe even some kind of um, you know what I'm saying? Some kind of something over the people, okay? Which they should not have, all right? And these are like these jealous women, like I said, these feminine energies. I mean, and it's not just them, you know what I'm saying? It's a team of them. Like, it don't mean that they're doing it specifically. It's whoever they're working with or working under or working, you know, like that, okay? So these women that don't like, you know, the cream of the crop, the, the one energy that has been like, scapegoated or turned into an island or put on a platform or on a pedestal right um right so this would be stuff that would be in my old phone here okay um so it's saying be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land Right, so it's it's like go monitor the land, go watch the land, go learn the language of the land, but don't go with these other people, okay? For when they prostitute themselves to their gods, okay, with a little G and sacrifice them, they will invite you and you will eat their sacrifices, okay? All right, so this made me okay. This is making me wonder, okay, two different ways here, okay? This could be the people that are coming in as observers that turn themselves into gods, okay? Or they are gods, you know, little gods. Um, but it could be also this jealous God trying to manipulate the situation here for them not to take on some of these women. And these women, that's what I'm saying, these women may be using sorcery, um, some type of holographic energy. They could be using doppelgangers to make it look as though these women are, you know, whoring themselves out. But why do I feel like there's some Paul, I don't know, Peter, Paul... I don't know, like some Peter energy here with these women are actually chastised. So maybe even they may have secret thoughts. They may have, you know, yearning energy for something, you know, because they're depriving themselves of something that's good, you know. Um, and that can also lead to that being put placed into a place deep down in your something, <laughs> mind, you know, um, soul searching, soul siblings, even, you know, the twin flame. Like that flame, you have that flame for that twin flame and sometimes you shut down from the world and you just want to be close to that energy. 
but does that then open up or expand you to being you know what i'm saying open to other energies that these females could be sending in here okay you know what i'm saying okay and then eat their sacrifices so again these sacrifices may be something that these people these sanctions or something that they're putting on these particular people in these areas you know what i'm saying so if you get with these people you're going to be under the guise you're going to have to go with these same things but there should not be no sync like these people should be making their own you know what i'm saying um covenant or their own cultural whatever like that these are people that are gods themselves possibly big g god okay and, and, and these are people that are lesser than them trying to control the narrative for them, right? So it's making me think about Ukraine energy, maybe Crimea energy. These people that were resilient, you know, and decided to fight back and not to take on these things, these sanctions or these things that these, these lesser gods are trying to bring in because they see that this is what this is. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like what that could be. We're just thinking about what it could be. Again, you it, however resonate with you, okay? It says, and when you choose some of their daughters, okay? So, again, we're talking about daughters and dowry here, okay? As wives for your sons and those um, daughters prostitute themselves to their gods. But it's really not these people, possibly. I mean, it could be. This could be the ways of the Nicolaitans. Um, again, possessed in dealing with daughters or close family members or something like this. This could be, it could, it could be that energy. That could be what this is warning, you know, with the Canaan energy here. Um, possibly not. Maybe it's different. Maybe this God is doing something different this time. I have no idea. Because I feel like it's the wives of these gods that are doing this to these women. Do you get what I'm saying? It's the jealous, envious women that are connected to these masculines that are doing this to other women. And making them, fit, you know, keeping the, the, the masculines away from the women, which they respect and honor and love. And they are trashing them by sending in demonic energies or other energies into the sleep realm or other dimensions to, you know, cleave on to these women here. Okay. Secretly, where some people may not even be aware, but I think source has given some of us, again, maybe if there's a blockage or something created, he has given us, they have given us a way of seeing here. So again, this is talking about high priestesses, because if you look at the high priestess energy, the high priestesses have seeds behind them. And I'm, I'm talking about seeds, but also seeding. Okay, C E D E S. Okay, let's see. So it's really not the people; it's the jurisdiction and all of the codes or whatever that's being made up around these people that make it difficult for them to even really live. You know what I'm saying? To to not break these rules so that they can end up in some form of servitude over somebody that shouldn't be over them in the first place. You get my drift. All right. So this is somebody coveting wives, coveting. A covetous energy to covet land or resources or whatever from certain people with their laws and their their lies okay all right so it says they will lead your sons to do the same okay so again i feel like this is with the people that are over these are the earthly so it says honor your earthly masters i feel like these are the earthly masters that should like i said powers that sh there are some powers that should be they're legit but there are some powers that shouldn't be okay and I feel like these are the powers that sneak in that should not be, right? And they're doing these things to these people and then accusing them of doing them in their regular everyday life when a lot of times these women probably are not doing them. A lot of times these women are waiting for these so-called twin flames or whatever to come through so they're preserving themselves for that. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of funny how, you know what I'm saying? But then those emotions and those feelings, since you're a, a natural woman or a natural person, they have to go somewhere, okay? All right, so again, celebrate festivals of unleavened bread for seven days and eat bread made without yeast as I commanded you. So this makes me think, but this is also buying time for somebody also too. This seems like it's buying time for someone because when we're talking about unleavened bread, I did a video on that. I feel like this is talking about fluffed up words, you know, with better understanding, okay? Like how we break down the word here, okay? It's saying, you know, make it just plain and layman you know for these days and then one day you can like puff it up with the other information hold on one second 